Today I'm going to talk about my raw vegan weight loss and transformation before and after. Before I started the raw vegan diet and lifestyle, I was overweight. I did not like taking pictures of myself. I was overwhelmed. I was unhealthy. I was short of breath and had difficulty walking down the street. I had pain in my knee, in my ankle and toe. I needed a toe surgery, according to the doctors. I had high blood pressure and heart palpitations and many more issues. I tried everything to lose weight. The weight was not coming off. I went to my Weight Watchers meeting every week and weighed myself, went on a scale. I had a personal weight loss coach. I even tried a high protein diet. I lost a few a few pounds, but got stuck after that. The high protein diet caused um, other health issues. I felt helpless. I felt so desperate that I called my insurance company to sign up for their obese shake diet, even though I knew that was not healthy for me. I was convinced that this was a sign of old age, getting close to menopause. Most people my age were already taking medications for hormonal balance. As soon as I started eating raw food, I felt better. I found hope. My weight gain stopped. There is nothing worse than being overweight and then going on the scale and noticing that you have gained weight. As soon as I started eating raw, that weight gain stopped. A few days later, I dropped some weight. Then I kept losing weight weekly. I stopped using the scale because I was not worried anymore about uh, losing weight. It was just coming off. I focused on my weight and my new lifestyle. I was so excited about the miracle of a raw vegan diet and its healing power that I lost my focus on weight loss. Friends kept telling me weekly that I looked thinner. I was so happy discovering this miracle that I wanted to let everybody know after that I went raw. Within a few weeks, I noticed a change in my health. The miracle did its job. I got rid of all that pain in my knee and ankle and toe. I felt that this miracle was kept as a secret. I wanted to share it with everyone, everyone who was suffering like I did. This is why I am making these videos because I know how much you might be suffering. I'm real excited to be on Chef AJ. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be here and share my story. This is my yard and these are my beautiful trees fruit trees. This is my fig tree. It's the love of my life. I give it love and it gives me love back. It gives me figs in heart shape. So many of them. It's so beautiful. It's so huge. These are my beautiful roses. I have a tangerine, tangerine tree. You see, I love my trees because they give me my food. This is my pomegranate tree. We planted these trees for Valentine's Day. This is my Chinese date. Chinese date. They're, they're bigger. We have a similar Chinese date. We have a similar tree in Iran, but they're smaller. We call them Anyam. This is a miniature uh, Washington orange. I believe that they can, they have feelings. 
and this is my beautiful peach tree Persian peach, peach tree it's like they also call it donut peach you see I have this cage because squirrels eat most of them so I let them eat as much as they want and I eat what is inside or if anything is left for me I will eat it this is a beautiful apricot tree you see they're small right now they taste so good they take they're so delicious and juicy again I have the cage because uh, squirrels love eating them um, you know and it's okay it's okay I'm giving to the environment uh, I'm giving back to the environment to the squirrels to the birds I don't mind I have a small blackberry here and a raspberry there and this one this is this is um, it looks like an orange but it's not an orange in 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 farsi language in persian language we call it no orange they're they're not sweet they are very sour so this was brought from iran I had to wait many years for it to give me uh, fruits. And this one is a persimmon tree that almost died, but I kissed it and I loved it and I watered it and it's coming back. And this one was just a um, seed of date that I threw in the ground and it came out and I didn't want to cut it. Uh, so these things that came out, they are just like dates, but they're very small. They're very small dates. I do have a mayor lemon. It's not the season right now for it, but I love the mayor lemon also. But this big tree is the love of my life, and it gives me heart-shaped figs. And knock on wood, it's so huge, and it gives so much figs that I dry them, I make my fig rolls i have a recipe for my fig rolls in the book that i wrote love recipes and i also dry them in the dehydrator and i use them in the winter time they're so good for you and i give a lot to my friends and relatives they are amazing they're the most tasty delicious figs i've ever had it's getting close to eight years it's about seven years and a half that i'm raw and uh, I see a big difference in my life. I see a big, big difference in my energy, in the way I think, I feel. Um, that's why I, I keep staying raw. Before I started a raw vegan diet, I did not know anything about eating raw food. I didn't know about the miracle of raw food uh, on my health, for my pain, for all the things that I always feared of. In, my, in life, uh, getting sick, you know, the illnesses uh, and the pain uh, that my mom went through uh, because I'm also a caregiver for my mother. Uh, I didn't know any of these things. I knew about eating healthy, I knew about nutrition, I knew about Weight Watchers and I was on Weight Watchers. Um, my mom taught me about Weight Watchers and all that, but I didn't know about eating a raw vegan diet. Even though more than 50 years ago, somebody in Iran, a man named by Ashavir Der Avanesian, he had written a book about eating a raw vegan diet and how it uh, helped him save his child. He lost two, ch two children uh, in, and he, that made him study for many years uh, as much as he, go he could about nutrition and the reason that people get sick. And then he was able to save his third daughter by feeding her a raw vegan diet. He raised his daughter on a raw vegan diet. Uh, so for those people who say this diet is not good, this food is not good, or this lifestyle is not good for children, his daughter was raised on a raw vegan diet. And um, I know other children who have been raised on a raw vegan diet. But 
his, he wrote that book more than 50 years ago in Iran, but I didn't know anything about it. My parents didn't know about it, so I had no idea. Um, I thought, you know, this is life. We have to deal with all this pain and diseases and, um, you know, problems, and there was no way out of it. But when my husband got sick, when he, when he started having that burning sensation in his feet, and the tingling in his feet uh, because of the diabetes that he had. Uh, that's when we started searching for solutions and for the cause of his pain. So that is when we started searching and we found out about eating an alkaline diet, how alkaline food can help us cure all our illnesses and uh, I started searching for alkaline food. What is alkaline? Then I found out about greens. I found out about uh, the power of fruits. And uh, he searched and he found out a lot of information regarding the raw vegan diet. And uh, I tried it first. So as soon as I learned about digestion, about how long it takes to digest different food, about alkaline diet, how it can um, help us heal, how it can um, produce good cells, new cells, healthy cells, all that stuff that I didn't know about. I thought, hey, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it for at least half a day. That's how I got onto this diet. I started with just for a few hours. Uh, and I said, let me try it, see if it works for me. And from, the, from day one that I started this, of course, I wasn't eating really bad before, really a lot of junk food before. I, I was an overeater and I'm an emotional stress At that eater. time, I was overweight. I was pre-menopause, I was getting close to menopause, I was dealing with a lot of issues that I didn't even know it was curable. I didn't even know that these were something that were, it, there was a possibility to get over them. I didn't know there was a possibility to get through menopause with no pain, you know, and I was overweight. Uh, I was doing emotional eating, even though I tried always in my life to eat as healthy as I could, but I was um, eating too much and my body had changed. The type of my body just changed. I got a big stomach. Uh, normally I'm a, I was a pear shape and I turned into an apple shape. And there were strange things happening in my in my body. I had pain in my toe, ankle, knee at the same time. Doctor said I needed toe surgery, uh, that I had to sleep uh, after that, like rest for three months. And uh, there were a lot of things that I wrote in my book uh, about it, the love recipes. I explained what I had and which ones got cured. I had pain, I had flat feet. You can watch my YouTube channel and, and, and each week I'm going to explain a little bit about the things that got cured in my um, body. One of them was flat feet, one of them was varicose veins, uh, all of them have a story behind them. And I didn't know that these things were really horrible. I didn't know how, that it was curable. I thought that's just me, that's just part of getting older and I was getting depressed dealing with menopause and dealing with old age and thinking, oh my God, because I couldn't even breathe well. I, 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 I had palpitation. I couldn't walk with young people anymore to the end of the street. I was getting slower. When I went hiking, I would have a fever. So all these things were happening and I thought, you know, that's getting old. I have to deal with it. But um, so even though I was an emotional eater and I was overweight, uh, and anytime I tried even fasting for a few hours, I would get like a headache or um, a fever uh, or I would get very weak. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to try eating raw, whatever I have in the house that's raw. I'm going to try to eat it for a few hours and see, am I gonna die? What am I gonna, what, what's going to happen to me? And as soon as I tried it, I noticed nothing happened to me, but I got more energy, higher energy and I was able to uh, feel like it was 9 o'clock in the morning while it was like 1 p.m. or it was 3 o'clock or 5 o'clock that I normally got home from work. Normally at 4 or 5 I felt dead, like I had no energy to cook or do anything. But that day that I started raw, that week, 
each day I extended the time from one to two to three. Each day that I extended the time, I felt that I was, I had more energy. As long as I ate raw, I had the energy. As soon as I ate cooked food, I lost the energy. That was my experience. So that's how I, every day I did more raw, more raw, longer hours of raw, and I ended up staying on raw. Um, my husband did raw and uh, he got a lot of results a lot of amazing results i uh, brought some raw food into my mom's life my mom when she came to my to, to live with me she was around seven years old around 70 she was in her 70s and she had a lot of pain all her life she had pain in her knees she had pain in her back she had pain everywhere and she's not the kind of person who can tolerate pain she had heart problems uh, she had a lot of problems. Uh, I, I have to I have to talk about that another time. My mom had many issues, and I brought in a little bit of raw food every day, even though my doctor said, you know, she's helpless, like it's not going to work on her because she also has some mental problems, um, depression problems, all that stuff. But I brought a little bit every day to her life, and she changed. She changed big time she changed to a point that she had no pain she started walking even without a cane or a walker and i had to remind her mom hold your walker mom hold your cane change big time she changed to a point that she had no pain she started walking even without uh, since then i started helping a lot of people in the persian iranian community persian or iranian community which is the same uh, I started helping a lot of people. I have mentored many people and they have they got results, good results. And uh, I continue to do that. My passion is to help people as much as I can. And I love to teach other people what I know. If I know how to solve a problem, if I know how to get rid of some suffering or pain, I really want to share that with everybody else. That's my passion. That's who I am. By the way, Chef AJ, I have heard you talk about not being able to sleep when you were eating raw, and I know the secret to that. I, ha I got much better sleep since I went raw, so did my husband. He really had a hard time for sleeping. Sometimes he would take pills to sleep. He would wake up every 10, 20 minutes. But after he went raw, he slept straight from 9 p.m. to the next morning. So that was really one of the miracles that happened with the raw vegan diets for him. I am grateful that I'm in the bundle, in the raw vegan bundle that comes out once a year. And I'm here to show you a recipe from my Love Recipes ebook. This is Fruity. I'm going to make yogurt with this coconut. I will add two cups of water in the Vitamix or strong blender if you don't have a Vitamix and make the yogurt, but a very not thick yogurt. It will not be thick. It will be like milk. So I measured it. This is two cups of coconut. So I put three cups of water so far and I will see if I get the consistency that I need. I need it to be more watery than yogurt, kind of like milk, but not as so not as liquidy as milk, a little bit more consistent than milk. You have to chop everything into small pieces. The walnuts, of course these are raw. Remember that every time I use walnuts or any nuts, I'm using them raw, raw nuts. Chopping the mint. And I have fresh dill that I'm going to use. There is also tarragon and another, another uh, thing that I use that I will post in the ingredients. Just chop everything small. Not Garlic is not mandatory, but if you want to use it, you can put it in here and just smash it and then uh, chop, chop, chop. So I'm using this. Of 
because the fragrance comes out when you do that and you can use onions if you eat onions you got to uh, use like half an onion and chop 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 in small pieces uh, I would just do either garlic or uh, onion not both because to me that I eat raw both of them together is too strong or I might not even use garlic myself when I make it okay so I'm gonna take off the skin of the lemon lemon is mandatory this lemon is this is a mayor lemon from my yard and it tastes really good I can eat the skin the peel it tastes delicious the peels are organic like it doesn't have any chemicals on it or anything but the, I'm not gonna use the the peel uh, in the mixture I'm making I'm just gonna take the seeds off and then dump it into the Vitamix add it to my yogurt mix the yogurt that I made from coconut yogurt thing looks great it's thick really nice you can add more water this can be more watery but i'm going to keep it like that i'm going to add all the ingredients i put the lemon in here and i'm going to mix it uh, black pepper optional if you don't eat it you don't have to add it i'm going to add some black pepper pink salt optional i'm not going to add pink salt because i don't eat salt this looks amazing it looks creamy when it's not vegan, people might add a little bit of butter or cream, but this is already creamy, so I don't need to add all that stuff. I'm going to add everything that I chopped in there. I use three cucumbers. You can use less if you don't want that much cucumber, but I like it, so I'm gonna add all these three cucumbers in there and the walnut. And I have a little bit of savory which a little bit like rosemary, but I find it less strong than rosemary. And this is tarragon. I didn't have fresh tarragon, so I have a little bit of dry tarragon that I'm going to add, and I'm going to mix, mix, mix. If you have a little bit of rose water, you can add rose water like one tablespoon, or you can make fresh rose water yourself. You can make it by putting some rose flowers in water and leave it in the fridge for like 10 to 12 hours and take out the roses. Um, if you have those rose leaves, the, the pink ones, you can decorate it with that. I'm going to make the rose water. So I have half a cup of water that I'm going to put in this glass. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of roses in here. And then I leave it in the fridge. You can leave it in the fridge for 10 hours, 12 hours or longer. And then when it's done, I'm going to drain it out. I'm not gonna put the roses in there, not these petals to make the rose water. I'm going to remove the petals and I'm going to use the water only. This is how it looks like after it's ready. And I'm going to drain it out and use the water itself. You can also make this by putting it under the sunshine. You can leave it outside under the sun. Just make sure no bees, no, no flies go inside. Maybe you can put a something some cloth on top and in warm temperature you can also put in a dehydrator actually if you want that's also possible but i left it in the fridge i'm going to drain it and here we go rose water smells really good and it's very relaxing it puts us in a good mo mood it also relieves headaches contains antioxidants suits sore throat it's great for the skin enhances our mood can help us sleep better and they did a study in iran one of the universities in iran and they discovered that it's good for alzheimer's 
the it has a lot of benefits it, it's good for liver for gallbladder it is also anti-inflammatory okay i'm done again if you like onions you can add half a half of one onion a red onion that is chopped mm, it looks great and it's delicious I like this recipe because I can keep it in the fridge for up to three days. It fills me up when I am very hungry. I like it in the summer and in the winter. It is a great way to eat my favorite herbs such as dill, tarragon, mint or any other herb that I might have. Sometimes I add cilantro and a little parsley. Some days I go hiking and I pick some native mustard leaves, so I add that too. Some days I pick malvo from my yard. It has a lot of benefits, so I add that. It is anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. It is antimicrobial, so it has a lot of benefits. You can add one or two or three herbs, or you can add more herbs. It's up to you. Try it with my recipe, and then if you like it and you make it again, you can add more herbs. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. The name of this dish in Farsi, in Persian language, is Abdu Khyar. This is Abdu Khyar, which means water and cucumber but it has yogurt. If the non-vegan one is made with yogurt, this is made with coconut.
The Raw Vegan Bundle has returned and it is all new. Every single contribution in this Raw Bundle was created over the last year just for you. Get 40 vegan ebooks, e courses, workouts, presentations, and cooking classes from raw vegan creators, all focusing on low fat raw vegan lifestyle content. Everything is brand new. Get all the new releases from everyone in the bundle. So many new recipes for wraps, stews, appetizers, gourmet low fat raw, and so much more, completely oil free. Get the ex exclusive 2023 collaboration ebook with many appetizer recipes. You cannot buy this ebook anywhere and you can't buy it after. It's only available in this bundle until May 11. Learn about having a healthy raw vegan baby and raising vegan babies. Explore all the tools you need to create a raw vegan kitchen with everything you need mindset, manifestation, food freedom, and self-love content, workouts, and for over $1,800. But for right now, only get everything for only one payment of $50, but only available until May 11 at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.